Okay, guys, tonight I want to talk about, uh, you know, we always talk about insanity, fast and furious. Um, well, I want to talk about um, the fat and furious. And a lot of us, you know, we go out and we're going to go a night on the town. Whether it may be business, we're entertaining clients and customers. We travel on the road. Um, if you travel a lot, like I do myself, a lot of you out there do that uh, for business, it's really tough to find um, the temptations are everywhere out there versus if you're at home, you can control what you cook and what you're going to make uh, out of your own kitchen. But when you're in a restaurant, they use so many oils or so many butters, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. So you try to you know, focus what's on the menu. But the key thing, the one thing that you can control is your portion control once again. And I can't stress this enough. Portion control is the secret. It's the key to keeping to keep set, focused on your goal where you want to get to where you're going to be uh, with your weight. So, fat and furious. Example, you go to a restaurant. The difference between feeling satisfied and full is about 1,000 calories. And the difference from feeling full and stuffed is about another additional 2,500 calories. So, um, for instance, if you're going to go to that all-you-can-eat um, Chinese buffet, you know what I'm saying? It's like everything looks so great out there. It's laid all out. Boom, 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 boom. Well, you start dishing that on your plate and you're having a great and you, next thing you know, you're walking out and you're going, oh my gosh, I got... So you, you basically have just, you may have wolfed down 4,000 calories, of, I mean, basically 4,000 unneeded calories um, that you might freak out the next day and say, I'm going to go burn all this off. It ain't going to happen, all right? The key thing is slow down. Okay, portion control. Um, try eating at a slower pace. Uh, it, it's not. A, I'll tell you, the worst thing is lunches. When you sit down at lunch, I don't know what it is. It, 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 for whatever reason, it's like you got to kind of pop, 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 get the food down. You got to slow your your pace. Out. And 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 here's a, a real key secret: never, never, ever, ever drink your calories. Okay, let me repeat that. This is a secret that is so key. If you can incorporate this into your daily diet, never drink your calories, okay? And, and I'll tell you something. A glass of ice water. I know you want that nice big soda, that nice crisply spark, nice soda. Some of you might think diet soda. Oh, that's even worse, okay? I'll go on that on another, an, another topic, okay, of discussion with, with that, what's, what's in that, and what that will do to you long term. That's even worse than regular soda. I mean, you're better off drinking a soda than you are a diet soda, believe it or not. But stay away from else. Focus on water. And the more water that you're going to consume, okay, not only is it going to make you feel better, it's going to clean out your system, it's going to fill you up, and you're going to eat less, all right? So the key thing, once again, 3,500 calories equals one pound. So if 3,500 calories equals one pound and you're consuming 5,000 calories a day, that additional 2,000 calories a day times seven days is, do the math on that. You're putting pounds on your body. And back when we were younger, we could eat like that because our metabolism was cranking. Now, here's the good thing. With your insanity workouts, you're going to be boosting your metabolism at a pace that as we get older... And man, when I'm talking about older, I'm talking about once we get past the age of 30, okay, uh, or even past the age of 21. Um, up until that time, you could pretty much eat anything you want. Back in those days, remember, mom, you'd be out playing all day when you're a kid, you know, uh, 12, 13, 14, and mom would just call you in for dinner, okay? You know, and then you just bum, 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 you're eating nonstop all day long. Well, see, that's the, that's the key. When we were kids, we ate nonstop all day long, but we didn't eat big meals. We ate small meals all throughout the day because we had the time to do it. Now, as adults, with our hustle and bustle out there in the workforce, we don't seem to have that time to sit down and eat those five to six small meals during the day, every two to three hours apart. So it's called planning and preparation, the same way you run your business, all right? When you run your business, don't you have a game plan that you go by? Do you just go out and wing it, all right? I, I mean, I, maybe some people do, all right? I know myself, I set goals. As, if you're going to run a successful business, you got to set goals of where you want to be. If you're going to be trying to strive somewhere with your with your company or with your job, and to, and to get to where you want to, be, you're going to set those goals. It's no different with your with your diet, guys. Okay, it's no different. You got to you got to basically have a plan of action going in before the day before. Here's a key thing, another good secret. 
prepare your meals a day in advance. All right? We can seem to prepare everything else we want a day in advance. All right? Uh, I, I know when I want to go on vacation, I take all the preparations and all the steps to plan everything in advance so the vacation goes fantastic, right? Can anybody relate to that? Okay? So whatever it takes, start to focus on five to six small meals per day. Okay, that's every two and a half to three and a half hours. And it doesn't have to be much, all right? For, for breakfast, you could have a bowl of oatmeal. Boom, you're done. Two and a half, three hours later, I don't care where you are, you could have something, have it packaged up. You know, freeze them in the refrigerator, in the freezer, take them out, pop them in the microwave. It could be as much, it could, you could have, I don't even care if you have five frozen sandwiches, although you want to stay away from bread, you want to stay away from pasta, you want to stay away from potatoes, those are, those are foods, those are carbs, those, and that's another topic I'll get into as far as those, what I would call fillers, are not going to benefit you. They're going to fill you up, but it's giving you zero nutritional value, and all they're doing is just packing on massive amounts of calories that you don't need to burn off. I guess the key thing is if you're at the body, if you're at your weight, ideal weight where you want to be right now, none of this matters, because at that point, you can eat whatever you want, all right? Um, I remember when I... First started in Sanity, I was weighing, oh, uh, well, where was I at? 210 pounds. Oh, my gosh, you should have seen me. You know what? I can't believe I was actually feeling proud of myself going out, uh, sitting by the pool in, in a swimsuit, all right? But I didn't know any better back then, all right? I, and I wish I would have started in Sanity 20 years ago and, and knew what I know now. But I do know one thing, that when I dropped 30 pounds and I got down to 180 pounds, now... If I want to cheat and I want to have a little fun and maybe in, maybe if I want to have that little bit of pasta or I want to have a chocolate chip cookie, you know, which I love. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, guys. I love chocolate chip cookies. I love them. But anyway, here's the key thing. You can do that because it's all about maintenance now. So what you got to ask yourself is where do you want to be? What is your goal? Where are you at right now and where do you want to go to? All right. And are you serious? Because if you're serious, you'll stick to that game plan and you'll work it each single day. It's portion control. It's not that complicated of a, of a strategy. This will be the easiest thing you've ever done in your life. You, you, you do this. You focus on that and stick within that game plan. So there's 3,500 calories equals a pound. So get this, guys. Do the math on this. 3,500 calories equals a pound. So what do you think is going to happen if you only consume 2,000 calories? Wow, that's 1,500 calories less. Now, you pop in your Insanity workout, which is going to burn anywhere from 700 to 1,000 calories. You are talking about major weight loss on a monthly basis, all right? Let's just say you consume 3,000 calories and you go at a more moderate pace. I mean, 3,000 calories, if you break it down, guys, and you stick with foods... You stay away from the pasta. You stay away from the breads. You stay away from potatoes, fillers that add zero nutritional value, and you focus on as many vegetables as you want. You have your carbs. Eat your carbs, uh, which, I, which I'm talking about uh, low glycemic carbs, like your apples and your oranges. Eat those fruits early in the day. Okay, At nighttime, Focus on your veggies. Eat as many veggies as you want. Have protein, though. That's another key thing, which I'm going to touch on in another, in another topic, is protein. It's, it's another secret. you got to take in the protein. But the key thing is focus on these, type of, these food groups. If you're sticking with your proteins, you're sticking with your veggies, and you're sticking with your fruits, those are all natural foods. And eggs, egg whites. Stay away from the egg yolks. Do not touch the egg yolks. Egg whites. You could do a lot with, I'll tell you, one of my favorite dishes of all time is I do six egg whites and I cut up half of an avocado and I throw it in there with like a little bit of spices. It's absolutely delicious with a little bit, half of a little sliced up apple on the side. Man, that, we're, we're, we're talking a phenomenal meal, okay, that's not going to put a lot of, but, but it's, it's going to give you, it's going to fuel your body, all right? So the key thing is take in less, not more, all right? And um, so if you do the math on this, okay, portion control, 3,500 calories, and you set a goal to do 3,000 or 2,500 calories each and every single day, 
and I'm just going to keep it simple for, as this example. If you did 3,500 calories, you was a pound, and you consumed 3,000 calories, and you did no exercise, that's 500 calories a day, all right? You do the math on that, all right? That's going to be one pound a week you're going to drop. One pound a week. Okay, that's four pounds a month. Okay, in three months, you've just dropped 12 pounds. So where do you want to be? That's the question I have for you right now. Where do you want to be, and how serious are you about that? Okay? I'm going to keep on you guys. I'm going to keep these things streamlined in because you know something? I believe each and every one of us could be looking the best we've ever looked in our life when it comes time when the summer's here. And we are very close, guys. We're talking March right now. you got April, May, June. The sun's going to be shining. And I'll tell you, ladies, when you put on that bathing suit, get in that nice bikini again, your husband is going to, you know what? I, I guarantee you he's going to get inspired. He's going to get inspired because he's going to say, wow, she looks phenomenal. Maybe I need to do something with myself as he's looking at his belly sitting there. And guys, when you put on your suit and you go out there and you're showing that six pack and you're ripped, you're looking like a, like a, a well, I'll put a mic down, 54 year old dude that's competing with the 25 year olds now. Come on, man. You know, I'm telling you, you're going to feel amazing. You could do it, all right? Set your goals, stick with it, control what you eat. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult. Anyway, I hope I'm, well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to keep streamlining this into you, whether you like it or not, because that's what I do. I'm your coach. I am your coach. Anyway, and I'm a little crazy, you know? I guess you got to be. We're insanity. We're team insanity, team fit for life, and uh, we're taking it. We're going to change a lot of lives, and we're going to help people get in the best shape. Anyway, talk to you soon. Bye.